money, we know that one. But Danny, Danny is an original. We want to just give it up for you one more time, Danny. You have folks, the, some of the people from Blood, Sweat, and Tears came out of his band, you know? All right, guys, love you. And now we're going to go to Barry Harris. Well, Barry, another one we didn't know that you would be here. After we got all those emails in Russia saying you were sick. <laughs> So the gentleman approaching the stage, Mr. Barry Harris, celebrated his, he celebrated his 89th birthday two days ago. You're not old yet, Barry. We'll let you know when you are. You're not old yet. Yeah, you're not the oldest one here. <laughs> You know, this penis here. Barry Harris is part of an exceptional crew of Detroit branded jazz musicians, including Tommy Flanagan and Donald Byrd, who rose through the extraordinary arts education program in the public school system during the 1930s and 40s. Harris's earliest musical mentor was a church piano playing mother who exposed him to piano lessons at age four. I'm divorcing you tomorrow, man. He became seriously immersed in the jazz, in jazz in the mid-1940s and found in the spell with Polonius Monk, Charlie Parker, and Bud Powell. As a professional, he would become a key translator of Monk's music. Detroit was blessed with a high-energy jazz scene during the 1940s, and Harris was a house pianist at one of the hottest spots, the Bluebird Lounge. At the Bluebird, and later at the Rouge, he backed such traveling soloists as Miles Davis, Wardell Gray, Max Roach, Sonny Stitt, Lee Connitz, and Lester Young. Displaying an early interest in passing the torch through education, Harris Became, began teaching his bebop theories as early as 1956, tutoring young talent such as Joe Henderson. It is a tradition he has carried on throughout his life. At the urging of Cannonball Adderley, Barry left Detroit in 1960 and moved to New York. In, <laughs> in addition to Adderley, Barry found work in the 1960s and 70s with fellow Detroiter Yusef Latif, Charles McPherson, and Coleman Hawkins. <laughs> he also began to work as an arranger and composer, showing particular adeptness for his treatment of strings. By the 80s, <laughs> Barry's acumen as a teacher and mentor to developing pianists had become legendary. And in 1989, he was named a National Endowment for the Arts Jazz Master. Ladies and gentlemen, we are blessed and honored beyond words to be joined tonight by the great Barry Harris. Thank you. 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 Thank you.